When you check your email today, how do you check it? For most people, the answer would be opening up their inbox in their browser if they're checking on their computer or opening an app on their phone to check it there. But back in the 2000s, people used to check their email using a program on their desktop computer. For most, this program would be Outlook since it came bundled in with Office. But do these older versions of Outlook still work today? Hey everyone, it's Everything Eve here. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying three older, non-supported versions of Outlook and seeing if they can be synced with a brand new Gmail account. Will it work or will it fail? Let's find out. Alright, so we're here in the VMware workstation and I'm going to start off with Office 2010. It's unsupported. That's what I meant to say. So let's just find my Windows 7 VM here. For some reason, the Windows 7 VM is super slow. Uh, I have absolutely no idea why. It could be that I, every time I shut it off, I keep on uh, shutting it off, like hard shut off instead of the soft shut off that gives it time to dump everything, but uh, we'll see how slow it is when we load in. One eternity later. All right, so one eternity later, we're finally at the desktop. And let's just open off uh, Outlook 2010 here since uh, that's what we're gonna be using. So here it is. Okay, so here we are at the Outlook 2010 startup and I've been setting up things behind the scenes so that's why the video was paused for so long and um, so I think I'm going to click configure an email account. I'm using a Gmail account for this but that, if that doesn't work I'll use an Outlook account. So my name is Dummy Chungus, that's actually the name of the account, dummychungus at gmail.com and for the password I'm going to type, I'm going to copy paste the one time password that I created. If I can alt tab to it here it is so let's see if it works or not I have a feeling it's not gonna work for some reason like I'm, I'm so worried it's not gonna work if it doesn't I have to make an Outlook account then and somehow it actually worked with Office 2010 I'm actually surprised because Office 2010 would be considered a less secure app by Google but um, wow it actually worked so let's click finish and see if it can load in the inbox I'm using a dummy email account just so I don't get my main email account hacked uh, because I know these applications are old and they likely have lots of security vulnerabilities so I'd rather not risk that with my main email account and that's why I'm using this one but look at that it's actually syncing it actually works and yeah you can see two-step verification turn on so Outlook, to Outlook 2010 might have trouble loading emails but Outlook 2010 definitely will still work in 2022 okay so now let's move back in time to outlook 2010 2007 i'll load up my windows vista vm okay so now testing outlook 2007 we're here in our windows vista vm not activated for whatever reason uh but now we're just gonna hit outlook 2007 which apparently has already been opened but i don't remember opening it 25 times that's actually amazing nope okay I think I'll just run it 25 times. All right. Um, so I'll do that, and it has automatic setup. Thank goodness. And want to go through not automatic setup again. So let's type our email details. Oh, it's still in our report. Nice. Okay, let's try it right now. Let's hope it actually works. Wait, it it already worked. Like it already search for the settings okay uh so it's logging on to the server and test sending a test email message it worked wow seriously surprised right there here we go it's syncing again wow i can't believe outlook 2007 actually still works holy it shows you how and how versatile these things are you know programs and it has the automatic message so this one was sent by 2007 and this one was sent sent by 2010 you can tell because it says office Bruh. oh shut up vista <laughs> i think i'm gonna try sending an email as well just to keep things kind of interesting so i'm gonna send it to i'm actually gonna send it to my real email address okay so we're gonna send it and then should be in our sent items <laughs> yeah there it is so i'll send put up a screenshot if it actually delivered on the other end this is pretty amazing that Outlook 2007 actually still works in 2022 with Gmail accounts. 
but the real test will be out of 2003, which I'll load up right now. Okay, so for some reason my Outlook, I mean my Windows XP VM is super, super slow today. Probably because I have so many startup programs that are trying to run all at the same time. But we'll try and open it. So it's already the default application as soon as you install it. So we're going to open Outlook. Okay, and we're finally at the startup screen, uh, which calls, which is pretty similar to the ones that we built that with before, but it doesn't have automatic setup like Office 2007 and 2010, which makes it pretty pointless to use because you have to set it up manually. But uh, I'll try POP3 first. Even though IMAP worked for Office 2010, uh, POP3 worked for 2007, so I'm assuming it'll work better. Okay, and I think I've got the settings now, so apparently the incoming server is um, pop at gmail.com and pop.gmail.com and the outgoing is smtp.gmail.com so plug that in and oh it doesn't send a test message weird i i'm fully expecting it not to work actually but um it worked for 2010 2007 so i mean might work here but so far it hasn't yeah i don't think it's actually gonna work so uh, it looks like Office, I mean Outlook 2003 is just not going to work. I mean I could try uh, IMAP but... Okay so we've added the uh, email account with IMAP instead. So we'll see if it actually syncs anything or not. So it now says a connection to the server could not be established. IMAP.gmail.com is now in offline mode. So it doesn't even work entirely. Like you can't even receive or send emails. And um, yeah, so Office Outlook 2003 definitely doesn't work. So yeah, that's the end of this experiment, I guess. If you didn't like this video, then don't comment, don't like, and don't subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.